Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, today's video is gonna be about my favorite products from 2021. So if you like to see some of the good products I have, stay tuned. get into the video first i'm gonna start off with skincare the first product i have is this face wash that's called tula you guys i love this um quick story i was in ultra beauty one day me and my cousin was in ultra beauty and my face had broke out so bad and i was at the register and i was telling the girl i was asking the girl i was like you know what do you use on your face because your skin is so pretty my face typically don't break out y'all but since i don't know i don't know if it's hormonal or because we wear these masks. I don't know. My face has been breaking down a lot this past year. So I was just asking her what did she use on her skin. And she told me to try the Tula face wash. So I was like, okay. I have never heard about this product at all, y'all. Like until I bought this. And when I bought this, you guys, I've seen so many videos on YouTube about it. Y'all, this is suitable for all skin types. Um, it got probiotics in it. And we all know probiotics is good for the body and it's good for the skin. It's suitable for all skin types. So not only does this help protect the skin barrier, it helps balance the skin. I'm no esthetician, nothing, you guys, but let me tell you something. I don't play by my skin, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. So, I started using this, you guys. And I've been using this for the past, I think, three months. And I love it, you guys. Hopefully, I can find a picture to insert to show you guys what my face looked like before I started using this product. But I love this. I love this, you guys. And I'm not for sure how much it costs because I got this on sale. I think it was like $15. It was on sale. But I'll link it down below. But this product is good. I recommend everybody try it. It smells so good, you guys. To me, it smells like like baby powder or something i don't know but i love this you guys it does not dry out my skin or anything so if you're having problems with your skin and you're looking for something to try you guys go to ulta and try this and then let me know how you like it down below okay we're gonna move right along you guys she and she told me about a good moisturizer because i have very 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 oily skin so she recommended me this clinique um moisturizer right here and you guys, I got a travel size because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not because, you know, Clinique is not cheap, honey. So, <laughs> so I got the travel size and I love it, you guys. I will be going back purchasing the big one. I got a gift card for Christmas and I'm going to get the big one, you guys. I love this. It doesn't weigh my skin down. It controls my oils. I promise you it do because I get oily throughout the day. And you know, I'm, I mean, you're still going to get oil in your T-zones no matter what product you use. But this really helps because when I be at work, when I go to work, as soon as I get to work, my face be soon like it be so oily. This balance out my oils, you guys. And I might get a little oily throughout the day or whatever and I can just block. But this product is good. I'm going to get the big one. Yes. Yeah, so you guys try this as well. Okay, you guys. Next, we're going to move on to body. Um, You guys, the first product I want to show you guys is this Honey Pot y'all y'all know about this honey pot and if you don't know about this honey pot you're gonna learn about it today you guys this honey pot i've been using this for two years now and um it's for sensitive skin and it um it's 100 natural it got a ph balance of 3.5 to 4.5 it cruelty free sulfate free all that you guys i love this you guys i do not use nothing but this i don't care where i'm at if i ain't got this if i forget this i'm traveling baby i'm going to the store and getting it i'm going to shop around until i find it i love this you guys i don't know uh about you guys but i'm a heavy girl so you know when you're heavy you sweat a little bit this right here mm -mm. i tell you if you take a shower you use this in a panty liner you're gonna be good you're gonna be good. And I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I'm, I'm a woman and I know. I'm telling you guys from experience, this is the best feminine wash that you will ever find. At least to me, to me, you guys. So if, you, if you're not using this, go out and get it. And they also have one, um, they have a cucumber one and they also have a, a natural one, original one that's um, orange. I use both of them, either one. If I can't find this one, I'll use the original one, but I like to use the one for sensitive skin because I don't have sensitive skin, I don't think, but I treat my body like I have sensitive skin, if that makes sense. So, <laughs> but yeah, yes, and it's a third thing in here is organic and natural for your body, okay? So go out and get this, you guys. I love this. I will always rant and rave about this product, y'all. I'm telling you, I hope one day I get so big to that she sponsored this, sponsor me, honey, because this is the shit. Excuse my French, but this is the S-H-I-T, Okay. This is it. I love this, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm always telling my homegirls about this. Me and my best friend already use this, but 
I don't know if she put me on, I put her on, but we've been using this, y'all. I love this product. I can't, I can't take a shower without it, okay? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, but go out and get this, you guys. You will love it. Okay, next we're gonna move on. I love the aromatherapy body wash from um, Bath and Body Works. I'm not a Bath and Body Works girl. I don't like all the lotions and the body sprays and all that kind of stuff. But I live by the aromatherapy body washes, you guys. I love this. Right now, I'm currently using the lavender one at night. But I love it, you guys. I use it about three days a week. And I'm telling you, my sheets smell like the stress release stuff like it smells so good i like this one this is my favorite i was just trying out that lavender one it's okay i don't know if i buy it again but it's okay but this one is my favorite and you know they had that sale going on so i went over there and i got me some more so i can stock up on it but this is my favorite and this is the original one um it's got natural essential oils in it you guys i love this this is i'm gonna pull it up to the camera so you can see which one I use, but yeah, I use the regular one. And then I um got this time I got the uh when I went, I got the lotion one. I got the lotion and it smells so good. Ooh, I love it. and I just like to use this on my hands. Um I don't really put to typically put this on my body, but I will, but I just like to use the lotion on my hands. So I bought me a big one so I can just throughout the day I can just put it on my hands. But yes, you guys, if you have not tried these aromatherapy body washes from Bath & Body Works, go out and try them because they are my favorite. I love them. Um, yeah. The next product I'm going to show you guys um, is this Nivea lotion. You guys, I love this lotion. <laughs> I love it. My skin, my skin be from, from the waist down, my skin is so dry, you guys. I've been using this lotion for years. Oh, I got some stuff on it. But yes, I've been using this lotion for years. It's original moisturizer. It's original formula but with vitamin E in it. It lasts 48 hours. Um, it's hydrating. It softens the skin. It's normal to skin. It's normal to dry skin. So if you got dry skin, you can use this, you guys. I love it. Uh, I always buy a big bottle because I use so much of it, you guys. And I, when I put this on, it keeps me hydrated. That's why I continue to use it. Um, I went through a lot of different lotions and I just don't like any of them. So if you need any other good lotions besides the Nivea lotion, drop down below and let me know. I could try it out. But right now, this is my favorite lotion. I got a lot of oils and stuff, you guys. But sometimes using them oils, it just made me... Uh, I don't know. It's just sometimes I don't like using oil. I don't want to be oily. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted my skin to be moisturized. So I use this when I get out of the shower. I use this Nivea lotion. You see, I'm wiping it off, y'all, because I got lotion on it now. But um, when I get out of the shower, I put this on and I can go to bed and I don't got to feel oily and all that kind of stuff. I like the oil getting into my sheets and stuff. So I use this. I love it. Um, yeah. And it do last 48 hours. <laughs> well, it, it lasts long enough. Um... Yeah, so you guys, I love this lotion. Okay, next I'm going to move on to the perfumes I've been wearing this year, you guys. Um, I've been wearing this Chance by Chanel. The Chance by Chanel perfume, you guys. I love this perfume. It smells so good. It smells so good. And it smell, I guess it, I guess it's a floral smell. I don't know. But it's real soft and lightweight. You know, I like perfumes, you guys. But like I've told y'all before in my videos, I'm recently just getting into it. Because I'm the type of girl that I get out of the shower and I put my lotion on and I'm kind of like good to go. You know what I'm saying? But I've been using this. I love this this perfume. It smells so good, y'all. I'm telling you. When I put this on, I get so many compliments. And it's very light, so it's not overpowering. So if I get a little heavy, it's all right, because it still smells so good, y'all. So if you ain't tried this, go out and get it. It's a big wall, I know. <laughs> but if you haven't tried this and you've been thinking about it, I think you should try it. I like it. Now, the next perfume I got, y'all, I know, you know, everybody into the high-end perfumes and everybody want to smell like uh, Baccarat or whatever, however you say it. I ain't got Baccarat money, okay? Period. But anyway... I still love Victoria's Secret perfumes, you guys. I'm sorry. Well, I love this one. This one is called Very Sexy. I love this perfume, you guys. And I, I've i been wearing this a lot lately. And some might say it smells like a grandma, but it don't smell like a grandma to me. I love it. I ooh, I get compliments when I wear this. And when I'm telling people what I got on, they like, what? You got on what? From Victoria's Secret? Yes. <laughs> yes. I can, you know. Yes, I got on Victoria's Secret perfume. It's called Very Sexy. I be telling them, they be like, what? Girl, yes. If y'all have not smelled this perfume, I'm pretty sure everybody had. It's been around for years and years and years. But I'm telling you, this smells even better. I used to wear this in like high school. But 
the I think I used to wear the uh, body spray in high school, but the perfume smell even better, you guys. So if you have not tried this yet, I think you should go out and try it because it smells so good. Um, and I've been using this this year. It smells so good to me. But go out and try and let me know how you like it. If you don't like it, you can take it back. But I love it. We're going to move on to beauty. First, I want to show you guys these um, makeup um, wipe removers I be using. It's called Simple. I get these from uh, Walmart. You guys, I love these makeup wipes. Um, it's cruelty-free and vegan. It's good for all skin types. It has no harsh chemicals in it. Um... I've been using this. I've been using these wipes for I for the past two years now. These are my favorite wipes, and I hate when I can't find them in Walmart. I would go to two, three different WalMarts to find these wipes, you guys. I love them, but I recently just started ordering them off of Amazon. To be honest, because my Walmart be sold out, but um, on Amazon they cost a little more than Walmart. But I love them so much to I pay the price. It don't matter. But um, it re it removes mascara, waterproof mascara. It's gentle to the skin. And I'm telling you guys, when I use this wipe, I only have to use one. I'm not lying to you guys. And I wear a lot of concealer up under my eye. Like, I wear two different types of concealers under my eye, along with foundation, I contour, I wear um, mascara, I wear all type of makeup on my face. And this gets my makeup off with one wipe i'm not lying to you guys i'm telling you so try these out and let me know how you like them too because i love these and i'm always ranting and raving about these makeup wipes the people i know that wear makeup they ask me about makeup wipes because i love them but yes so let's move right along um next we're gonna move on to the makeup like i said before um the foundation I've been using lately has been the Bobbi Brown Foundation. Y'all, I love this foundation. It is. It has SPF in it, you guys. I like this foundation. I got this foundation as a gift from my cousin, and I had it, and I, was, I wasn't I was using it. So this year, I brought it out. I've been using it all year long. Besides my Estee Lauder foundation, I use this foundation right here. I wanted to take a break on my Estee, Estee Lauder foundation because it's kind of expensive, honey. And I don't know if that's what's been breaking my skin or not, so I wanted to take a break on it to see, you know, what's going on. But I still love that foundation too but right now i'm using the bobby brown foundation in the color um espresso 10 and this foundation right here is for uh normal skin but if i had to purchase this again i would get this one but i would get the one for dry skin you guys um but uh i mean this one is for dry skin because it's moisturizing but if i had to purchase again i'll get the one for uh, oily skin which is a lot more mattifying but i still like this it gives me a seamless finish okay look like skin y'all be seeing my makeup <laughs> but yes i like this foundation so if you haven't tried the bobby brown foundation and you've been wondering about it try it i haven't used any other products by bobby brown so i'm not for sure but like i said that was a gift and i like it so i, I will probably be repurchasing that again when i run out but yes i'm gonna move on okay you guys we're gonna move on to a bronzer that i'm loving right now you guys i'm loving the juvia's place bronzers y'all i love these bronzers i'm gonna go back and buy these bronzers for my kids Y'all, I love it. This one is the Dark Deep. And you can tell I've been using it, honey. I love this. This gives me a finished look. Like right now, I don't have on any um concealer. I just have on bronzer. And it's this bronzer right here, you guys. And I have different bronzers. But for the series since I bought this about five months ago, I've been using it. And I love it. Was it been five months since I had it? Mm, I don't know if it's been four or five months, but whenever it came out, that's when I purchased it because the people was on YouTube ranting and raving about it. And I'm like, I'm about to go and try these bronzers because it's hard for me to find a good bronzer because I'm dark skinned. But this one, I love it. I love it. If they get one, if Juvia's Place make another one a little darker than this, I'll probably get that too because this, I mean, it, it works good. I love it. But if they come out with one a little darker than this, I'll probably will buy, I'll buy that one too. But I love it. I'm going to purchase uh, all three of them for my kit. Because I think they'll be beautiful on my clients. And um, yeah, I love this, you guys. So if you have not tried the Juvia's Place bronzers, go out and try them. Go out and try them too. <laughs> I love them. Okay, next, guys. Next, I'm going to show you guys my favorite concealers. Um, my first one here is this, the Tarte Shape Concealer, you guys. I love this concealer. This is in the shade um, Rich. I love this. This is my favorite concealer. I've been using this concealer for like three or four years now. And it's going to always be my favorite. And I recently started, this year, I started using the F Concealer, you guys. And this is in the color Chestnut. I like a real bright under eye. So, that's why I purchased this color in Chestnut. And I also wanted to try these out before, before I use them on my clients. Which I use the hydrating ones on my client. But, 
I wanted to try the 16 hour uh, camo uh, matte finish ones because they say these are the best. And they, but the only thing I don't like about them is that they dry down so fast. But as soon as I apply it, cause I apply this right here in front of my eye, like right here, I don't go all over the, all over here with the product. I just leave it right here and I put it on right here and then I hear up and blend it out and y'all, it gives me a beautiful coverage. I love this. And I will be um, using this for a while. But yeah, these are my two products I use. I love it. Okay, the next product I have here is a Studio Fix Foundation, you guys. I love this product right here. Everybody on Instagram. I found out about this product on uh, this product on YouTube. I was watching a lot of videos and I'm like, why do these girls look airbrushed? Like, they, like it's not like a filter look, but it's a filter. It's like a filter look, but it's not the fil actual filter. It's like this right here. This is what it is. This is the secret, you guys. This is what's giving the girls that filter look without a filter. For real. Okay, everybody always say, y'all makeup looks so good. My makeup look good because I use this. After I put my concealer on, you guys, and I set my concealer and I'm getting done, I go back over it with this Studio Fix Foundation. This is in the shade NC50, you guys. And I don't put too much of this on, it's just a little bit. I put it right here, I put it up under my eye and on my forehead a little bit, and I just blend it in, you know, I just blend it in. I don't put too much because too much of this product will mess you up. But if you put just the right amount of this Studio Fix um, powder on, it's going to give you like an airbrush finish, y'all. And I love it. I love it. I'm going to go back and get the NC, the NW55 for like the, to set my whole face or whatever. But this is what I use up under my eye after I put on these concealers and I and put my pressed powder on. I use this. And this is what's giving the girls that Instagram filter look without the filter. Okay? Don't sleep on MAC. Y'all better start sleeping on MAC. But yes, let's move right along. Okay, the next products I have, everybody always asking me, how do I get that perfect red lip? How do I get it? What am I using? Like, what, what is the secret? Okay, well, today, I'm about to give you girls my secret, okay? I'm about to give you girls my secret. First, I use this Night Mall Lip Liner from MAC. You guys, I love it. It's just like a purple, a dark purple, if you can see. Like a dark purple. I use this. I line my lip with this. And then I go over it with this, with this red lipstick, and this is um it's color rain. It's color rain cosmetics, and the color and the color is red C, and I love this. And I just line my lip with this too, and then I go in with my Ruby Rule by Mac. We all know what that look like. I go in with my Ruby Rule by Mac. I put it in the center right here, and I'm gonna do a video on how I get the perfect red lip. But I'm just showing you right now what what my favorite products is. And what I use to get that red lip this year. These three products right here. These three products right here. Ruby Roo lipstick. Night Moth um, lip liner from MAC. And the Color Rain lipstick in the color C Red. These are the three lipstick. These are the three products I use to get that perfect red lip that I be getting, you guys. If I can find these, well, I know I can find these products right here. I know I can find the lipstick in the um, lip line down below. If I can find this lipstick, I will leave it down below, you guys, because I'm telling you, I love it. And this is like a burgundy. I don't know. So if you got a burgundy lipstick, you can just put the burgundy on with the lip liner, with the Night Mall lip liner and Ruby Rue lipstick and get that color because I love it. You guys, but if I can find... um. That, that lipstick by Color Rain, I will leave it down below. Okay, Move right along. Next is lashes. People always ask me where I get my lashes from, and that's simple. AliExpress. That's where all the girls go. But they want my lashes, what lashes that I wear on for me. So, I have them here. The lashes that I have on now are um, the number D110. D110. Um, I will leave the brand, I will leave the company down below, the one I use on AliExpress, but it don't matter where I order these lashes from on AliExpress, I just look up this number and they always should be the same. So it really don't matter if you just go on there and look up lashes, go go on AliExpress and look up meat lashes and then the um the number 110 with the, the number 110 D110 and these should pop up. These are the lashes right here. Hope y'all guys can see them. Okay. And then I also use the lashes in D101. 
And these lashes right here are more of a natural look or whatever, but um, they like thin in the front and then they flare out on the sides a little bit, but they, they they're still full. These are full, full, and I've been loving these. I've been wearing these all year. I haven't worn these that much this year, just a couple times, but I've been wearing these all year long. So if you're ever wondering what lashes I have on and where I get them from, AliExpress. These two are the only lashes that I wear, um, D110 and D101. These are my favorite lashes. <laughs> okay, you guys, and I know this was about uh, my favorite products for 2021, but you guys see I got on this cardigan. You guys, I love this cardigan. I wear this cardigan everywhere. I have worn this cardigan all year long when I take my flights, when I'm out running errands. I love this cardigan, so I'm about to step back and let y'all see. I got this cardigan from, um, hope y'all can see it. If not, I'll do a side-by-side -side video. But I got this cardigan from Boohoo. It's super long, you guys. I love this cardigan. Let me move this chair so you guys can see it. See it? I love this cardigan, you guys. It's super long. I ain't gotta put no jacket on, nothing. I can just throw this on and go about my day. I love this. You guys, I got this from Boohoo. And if they still have it, I'll link it down below. But yes, I know y'all done seen this cardigan. I know y'all done seen this cardigan. I'll be, I be having this on in my vlogs and all type of stuff. So if you like it, I'll leave it down below so you guys can purchase it yourself. And I think it come in black too. But yes. All right, you guys, that's it for the video today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope I got some great products that you might want to go out and try. And like I always say, you guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. Let me know which products that you guys went out and purchased and used. And let me know how it benefited you. And like I always say, thank you so much. Goodbye.